<laughs> hey, there's nobody here. There's nobody at all. They'll all be back again soon. They're mostly in dining room fraction. What on a festive occasion like this? That's right. Mm. Well, it just goes to show what a human nature is. <laughs> I'll bet if it had been a funeral, they'd have been laughing their heads off. <laughs> I don't suppose there's any uh, cigars around here, is there? Yes, you look at that, don't you? Want one? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> yeah. My mother said, if God had meant men to smoke, he would have put chimneys in the back well, you can tell your mother from me that if God had meant men to wear collars, he'd have put collar studs in the back of their necks. <laughs> now, what are you bobbing up and down for? I'm not bobbing up and down, it's you. <laughs> You're a tiddly, aren't you? Tiddly? Yes, Smithy. <laughs> what an extraordinary idea. You're a most extraordinary kind of young, well, I don't know really. What's your name? Ruby Bertle. Mmm, Ruby. Ah. All right, I know it's a silly daft kind of name, but there's nothing you can tell me about Ruby that I haven't heard before, so don't try. No, I find you most extraordinary, Ruby. Most extraordinary. How old are you? Old enough. How old are you? Oh, me, I'm thousands of years. Thousands and thousands of years. <laughs> you look to be about 70. 70? <laughs> I'm 54. Then you've been neglecting yourself. Too much lifting of the elbow. Ruby, do you read the police news? Oh, I love them. Oh, oh evil birds. Then you've seen them photos of them women chopped up by their husbands? Yes, with bloody hatchets. Yes, well, if you're not careful, young lady, you are going to turn out to be one of them women. Ah, do they look soft? Hey, what do you mean, one of them women? I wouldn't worry, Ruby. You've got plenty of time yet. Time for what? Now then, what I'm going to do is take a flashlight group at three couples, same as in the original photo. Hey, you mean have time to go up and let me chop you? <laughs> what would you want to chop me up for? Well, you might find one or one, but you're going to have to be very, very careful, young lady. Are you going to take me photo? <laughs> Not for a few years yet. Go on. <laughs> You wait for me to grow up and then be chopped up. Here, yeah, you've got a right nasty man. Are you married? Yes. Wife don't seem to take much interest in you. How do you know? Well, I bet your clothes haven't been brushed for a month. And there's so much egg on your base coat, you can make a meal out of it. Why don't you tidy you up a bit? Well, because she's not here to do it. Don't she live with you? Is it imperative you know all about my personal life? Go oh, on, you might as well tell me. Where is she? Well, at present, Mrs. Ormanroyd is helping her sister to run a guest house called Palm View. Mind you, only Palm View will ever see there. It's one held out by my sister-in-law. <laughs> Where? Blackpool? Blackpool? No, that's the place you go to live in. Not dying. No, Torquay. Torquay. <gasps> It's right down south, isn't it? Yes. Torquay is on the south coast of Devonshire. It is sheltered from the northerly and the easterly winds and is open to warm sea breezes from the south. And so is a favourite all year round resort of many delicate and refined persons of genteel society. In other words, it's a damn miserable bloody old <laughs> Ah, that's it. Now we're all ready for the three happy couples. Would you say happy? Yes, why not? we we'll start going to listen to them four in dining room. Oh, believe me, Rosie. Ruby. Believe me, Ruby. You're still too young to understand. I've heard that before, and I don't know what it is that I'm too young to understand. Could you hear me brother cat rabbits? Rabbit? <laughs> It's not a question of rabbits, thank God, but marriage. Uh, marriage is a most peculiar thing. 
Gee, there's some parts of it I don't much reckon to myself. Which parts? Which parts? Uh, well, mm, I'm a man who likes a bit of company. And I like an occasional friendly glass. Yes, I'll admit it. I like an occasional friendly glass. Be all the same if you didn't admit it, we could tell. Yes. Well, if those couples have been married 25 years and they're still together, well, I can call them three happy couples. And I won't listen to you or anybody else say they're not. No, I won't have it. And if you or anybody else says drink their health, I'd say certainly, certainly, with pleasure. Wouldn't dare refuse because it would be dead against my principles. They're very good health. <gasps> yeah, you're going to be really tiddly. <sighs> All right. Well, Ruby, to be together side by side, through life's sunshines and storms, hands in hand, through good times and bad ones, always with a loving smile. Yeah, you mind that cigar? Aye, through good times and bad ones, richer or poor, Sickness and health, hand in hand, through life, sunshines and storms. You said that before. Yes, well, it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful thing. What is? What is? Good Lord, it's like talking to a little crocodile. I said, <laughs> it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful thing to go through life together. Good times, bad ones. Always together. Side by side and end in end. That's what I say. Well, there must be something wrong with me, because whenever I've tried going side by side and end in end, even for 20 minutes, I've had more than I want. Extraordinary. What's your name? It's still Ruby Burton. Well, <laughs> Ruby, have you never had a home? I've had at home. Why? Well, it sounds to me as though you've been brought up in a trance You have no sentiment, <coughs> no tender feeling, no, no poetry. Hey, I know poetry. We learned it at school. They grew in beauty side by side. They filled one home with glee. Their graves are severed far and wide by melt and stream and sea. The same fond mother bent each night o'er each fair sleeping brow. She had each fold a flower in sight. Where are those dreamers now? One bits the forest to the west by a dark stream is laid. The Indian knows his place of rest. Far, oh, far by the sea the shade. Ah, well, Ruby, Ruby. Most peculiar. Most peculiar. I don't think I'm very well tonight. You're a bit tiddly, aren't you? <laughs> Things aren't right in their place, but, but I'll catch it in a minute. Well, Just give me time. Are you? What are you doing here? Uh, Henry Ormond Roy, um, Yorkshire Argus, uh, Silver Wedding Group, take a photo. Well, there'll be no Silver Wedding Group taking it tonight. Have I come to the wrong house? <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Nobody, nobody, I'll get it all straightened out in a minute. Give me time.